Hello mga anak -shees. sa video na ito ay itutuloy natin ang discussion sa learning task number 2 from number 5 to 10. Pero bago tayo magpatuloy, make sure na nakasubscribe ka na sa channel ko. Click that notification bell icon para lagi kang updated. Like this video at mag-comment ka na rin sa baba. Kung bago ka pa lang dito sa channel na to, welcome to this channel. Number 5, the circumference of the circle C equals 2 pi R is 24 and the radius is square root of X plus 2 find X and its radius. So, ang hahanapin natin dito ay yung value ng X at yung radius. Okay, so the circumference of the circle, ang formula is C equals 2 pi R. Ito ang gagamitin nating formula para makuha natin yung x at yung radius. So, ano yung mga given dito? That is, yung circumference of the circle daw is 24. So, C equals 24 centimeter. At yung kanyang radius is square root of x plus 2. Okay? Next, itong given na to, isasubstitute natin dito sa formula. So, C is equal to 24. So, 24 mo nang ilagay natin. Huwag na muna natin ilagay yung units. Equals 2 pi times radius that is square root of x plus 2. Okay, ito yung equation natin. Kagaya lang din ng mga ginawa natin sa mga previous questions. Para matira ito dito, kailangan natin i-divide ito ng... 2 pi para makancel yung 2 pi. At kapag nag-divide ka dito, dapat mag-divide ka din dito sa kabila. So, ang matitira na lang ay square root of x plus 2. Dito naman magiging 24 over 2 pi. Okay? So, pagpalitin muna natin para hindi kayo malito. Pero, the same lang sila. So, square root of x plus 2 equals 24 over 2 pi. Pinagpalit ko lang yung position nila. Uh, para matanggal yung square root dito, kailangan nating i-raise to the power of kung ano yung index. Ano yung index nito? That is 2. So, kailangan nating mag-raise to the power of 2. Ganon din dito sa kabila. Okay? So, makakancel na to. Ang matitira na lang ay x plus 2 equals so 24 times 24 equals 576 ito yon over 2 pi times 2 pi equals 4 pi squared okay para matira si x dito kailangan nating ilipat si positive 2 sa kabila magcha-change ng sign. So, magiging x equals 576 over 4 pi squared. Ito, magiging minus 2. Then, simplify. Parang nagsusubtract lang din tayo ng fraction. So, kailangan marunong kayong mag subtract ng mga fractions. Ano ang LCD nito? So, that is x equals, ang LCD niya ay 4 pi squared. So, merong itong over 1, di ba? Kasi lahat ng whole number may denominator na 1. So, 4 pi squared divided by 4 pi squared is equal to 1. Times 576, that is 576. Then, minus... 4 pi squared divided by 1 is equal to 4 pi squared times 2. So, times 2 equals 8 pi squared. So, ito lalagay natin dito. 8 pi squared. Then, simplify. Ano ang factors nito? Isolve natin to by factoring. X equals... Ang common factor nito ay 4. Kaya ilalabas natin si 4 dito. Ang matitira sa loob, 576 divided by 4 is equal to 144. 
minus 8 divided by 4 equals 2. Then, pi squared over 4 pi squared. Okay, para makancel ito. So, ang natira na lang sa equation ay 144 minus 2 pi squared over pi squared. Okay, so this is now the final answer ng number 5. Meron pang second question na radius, find the radius. Ang nakuha pa lang natin ay yung value ng x. So, para makuha natin yung radius, gagamitin natin ito. So, r equals square root of x plus 2. Substitute natin yung value ng x dito para makuha natin yung value ng radius. Okay? So, r equals square root of, ano yung x? 144 minus 2 pi squared over pi squared plus 2. Kagaya lang din ng pag-add or pag-subtract ng fraction, kukunin natin yung LCD. So, dito muna natin isolve. So, ang LCD niya ay pi squared, then pi squared divided by pi squared equals 1 times 144, that is 144, minus pi squared divided by pi squared equals 1 times 2 pi squared equals 2 pi squared. Then, then, di ba, lahat ng whole number may denominator na 1. Kaya may 1 dito. Pi squared divided by 1 equals pi squared. Times 2, that is positive 2 pi squared. So, ang value nito ay r equals square root of 144 minus 2 pi squared plus 2 pi squared over pi squared. Kung mapapansin nyo, negative 2 pi squared plus 2 pi squared is equal to 0. So, ang matitira na lang ay r equals square root of 144 over pi squared. Ngayon, kailangan natin kunin yung square root nito. Ano ang square root ng 144? That is 12. Ano ang square root ng pi squared? That is pi. Okay, so the radius of the circle is equal to 12 over pi. I-check muna natin. Di ba yung circumference ng circle is equal to 24 centimeter? Equals 2 times pi times yung radius na 12 over pi. Then simplify. So 24 equals 2 pi times 12 equals 24 pi over pi. Then, makakancel ito. Ang matitira na lang ay 24. So, nag-equal sila. Ibig sabihin, tama yung sagot natin. Okay? So, ganun lang yung number 5. So, the radius of the circle is equal to 12 over pi. Then, ang x niya is 144 minus 2 pi squared over pi squared. Para makasali kayo sa 50 pesos load giveaway, just follow these three mechanics at mag-comment kayo ng hashtag radical equations. Malay ninyo kayo ang manalo. Next, number 6, find the sign of the square if the area is 64m squared. Okay, so alam naman natin na ang area ng square is equal to side squared or side times side. The area daw is 64 square meter. So, that is 64 meter square equals what is the side. So, hahanapin natin yung side. Ito na yung equation natin. 64 meter squared is equal to side squared. Diba? Para matanggal si 2 dito, kailangan natin i-multiply ng 1 half or which is yun yung square root. So, kukunin natin yung square root dito. Ganon din dito sa kabila. Best way na kasing method is ganito. Pero kung gusto nyo naman, i-transform nyo muna siya sa kanyang exponential notation. Pero masyado na kasi mahaba. Kaya ganito lang gagawin natin. So, the square root of s squared is equal to s. And what is the square root of 64m squared? That is 8 then 
m. So, ito na yung side ng square. So, so 8 times 8 equals 64. So, ganun lang yung number 6. Number 7, the shorter leg of a right triangle is one half of the longer leg and the hypotenuse is 3 cm. How long is each leg of the triangle? Okay, so para mas maintindihan ninyo, mag-drawing tayo ng right triangle. Okay, so ganyan. Ito yung longer leg, ito yung shorter leg, at ito naman yung hypotenuse. Okay, so ang measurement daw nito ay 3. Itong shorter leg ay 1 half of the longer leg. So, let longer leg be an X and shorter leg is one half down ng longer leg. So, that is one half X. Ang question is, how long is each leg of the triangle? Okay? So, since ito ay X at one half X ito, hindi natin alam kung ano yung value nila. So, right triangle ito, gagamitin natin yung Pythagorean Theorem. Okay? So, ang Pythagorean Theorem is equal to C squared equals A squared plus B squared. Okay? So, let 3BC is equal to C. Yung A naman is equal to one half X Yung B naman ay yung X. Okay? So, ganyan. Substitute natin dito sa formula ng Pythagorean Theorem. So, that is C. Ano ang C? 3 squared equals ano ang A? 1 half X squared plus ano ang B? That is X squared. Nasusundan. Next, simplify. So, 3 times 3 equals 9. Is equal to 1 half x squared equals 1 fourth x squared. Plus x times x equals x squared. Then, simplify muna natin to. So, that is 9 equals 1 fourth x squared plus x squared equals LCD is 4. So, 4 divided by 4 equals 1. Times 1 equals 1. X squared plus 4 divided by my 1 dito equals 4. Times X squared equals 4X squared. So, magiging 9 equals 1 plus 4, 5. X squared over 4. Next, pwede nyo namang i-cross multiply to. So, that is 9 times 4 equals 36. 1 times 5x squared equals 5x squared. Then, simplify. 36 equals 5x squared. Para matanggal, si 5 dito, i-divide natin both sides by 5. So, ang matitira na lang dito ay x squared. 36 over 5 naman dito. Ngayon, hindi pa ito yung final answer. Kailangan matanggal yung 2 dito. Kaya, kunin natin yung square root of both sides. So, the square root of x squared equals x. Na naman ang square root ng 36? That is, 6 over square root of 5 is equal to square root of 5. Pero, hindi acceptable yung my radical expression sa denominator. Kailangan nating tanggalin ito, ba magiging 6 squared of 5 by using the simplifying by rationalizing the denominators kailangan natin i-multiply ito ng square root of 5 okay, tinuro ko na to sa mga nakaraang video at ganun din dito sa uh, numerator so magiging 6 times square root of 5 equals 6 square root of 5 over square root of 5 times square root of 5 equals square root of 25. At ano ang square root ng 25? That is 5. Okay? So, the final answer is x equals 6 square root of 5 over 5. This is now the final answer. Number 8. 5 times the square root of a number is 5. Find the number. Okay, so 5 daw, 5 times, so multiply, parenthesis natin, the square root of a number 
square root of a number, let x be a number, is 5. So, is equal to 5. 5 square root of x equals 5. Okay? So, madali lang to. Di ba kailangan natin i-divide ito ng 5 para matanggal ito? So, ang matitira lang ay square root of x equals 1. Kasi 5 divided by 5, 1. Then, para matanggal yung radical sign dito, erase to the power of yung index niya which is 2 para makancel. Ang matitira ay yung radical x equals 1 squared equals 1. So, x equals 1. Number 9, the cube root of a number decreased by 3 is 0. Find the number. Okay? So, the cube root the cube root of a number, so let x be a number, decrease by 3, ibig sabihin, minus by 3 is equal to 0. Kagaya lang din ng ginawa natin kanina, ba kailangan natin raise to the power of the index para makancel. So, ang index nito ay 3. Ganon din dito sa kabila. And, cancel. Ang matitira ay yung radicad, x minus 3 equals 0 raised to 3 equals 0 pa rin. Ngayon, para matira lang yung x dito, i-transpose natin si negative 3, mag-change ng sign, magiging positive. So, this is now the final answer. Kung gusto nyong i-check, i-substitute nyo tong x dito sa original equation. Number 10, the square root of the cube root of a number is 2. Find the number. Okay, so the square root, so that is square root of the cube root. Okay, so sa, na, sa loob ng square root of the cube root of a number, let x be the number, is 2. So, equals 2. Okay, so diba tinuro ko na sa loss of radicals na yung number 2, kapag ganito, double root, mumultiply lang natin yung index. Magiging 2 times 3 equals 6 root of x equals 2. Then, i-apply na natin yung pag-solve ng radical equation and that is raised to the power of the index. So, raised to the power of 6, ganun din dito sa kabila. So, makakancel ito. Ang matitira na lang ay x. Then, 2 raised to 6 equals 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8 times 2, 16 times 2 equals 32 times 2 equals 64. So, x equals 64. So, yun lamang. Maraming salamat. Sana nakatulong ito sa inyong mga modules and activities.